Hey guys, Leela's Tools here. Back at it again with another tool haul. I just want to say uh, thanks for stopping in and checking out the video and everyone subscribing. We're close to 280 subscribers. So we're working towards that goal of 300. So if you're new and you want to see more tool content, consider hitting that subscribe button. Okay, without further ado, I just wanted to throw this in here. Uh, I got this in one of my other hauls, pawn shop hauls, and I forgot to uh, show it. This is a KD3312 made in Taiwan. If you look, yeah, it looks like a square drive. What's that? Uh, I honestly didn't know what this was when I got it, but this is uh, supposedly an inner tie rod tool. So I can see how that would be used, but yeah, this is actually a pretty penny, and I got this for about $2, so score on that guy. I just forgot to show that uh, in the other haul. Of course, like the biggest item you forget to show. So, uh, we got lots of goodies here. Uh, I went to KMS Tools. Uh, as usual, walked uh, in with a list of some things I needed and got those and, you know, just looking around and, you know, one thing leads to another. You know how it is, guys. Uh, uh, we'll just go over it uh, in, a, in order here from uh, front to back. Uh, here we have uh, the Perfect Bungee. Made in USA. Hashtag not your dad's bungee. And where did it say on it? Yeah, made in New Jersey, USA. Lifetime warranty, all weather, chemical resistant, fuel resistant, UV resistant. I just took the packaging off this one. They're very, very tough. Like, very tough. Oh, no. Katie wants to say hi. You want to say hi? <laughs> He's a good boy. You can hang out up there. Uh, yeah. And uh, on here, what did it say? Uh, don't uh, extend it uh, more than twice its length. Main USA. Uh, it says here, I think, uh, B I H L E R Flex. Bill Biller, Biller Flex. Yeah, anyway. I thought the length and the color of these. Uh, they'd be perfect for on the quad and snowmobile, for on the back racks, uh, putting jerry cans and the like. These are about four fifty a piece. We got two of them. Uh, and I was also when I cleaned up the shop here the other day, I was going through my uh, bungee cords and I had a lot that were in worse for wear shape. And I like these rubber ones because, well, they seem to. Um, I mean, they still uh, will wear over time, but they they just seem they don't uh, nick qu quite as easily. As the cable ones, and this is a made in America. These are 18 inches. These were less than two dollars a piece. Uh, they're from Ericsson. Yeah, so I wasn't gonna pass these pass these up. So we got those guys. Um, <clears throat> next up, I got some carbide burrs for the die grinder. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, funny enough. Uh, I was just thinking recently, I need to pick up a couple burrs, and I didn't know which are good ones, and did a bit of looking up, and saw that the Matco ones were 200 bucks, and they looked exactly the same as Astro Pneumatics, which were about 75 but then I thought, it doesn't mean they're USA made or any good, and did some digging, and then right as I'm doing my digging, uh, Project Farm, a YouTuber, if you haven't checked out, you definitely should, um, did a video on covered burrs, and... Uh, when I was in there today, I noticed that uh, KMS Tools sells uh, Grobit USA burrs. So I picked some up. Um, I've got a small guy here. I have an exact use for this guy. See that there. These are wicked sharp. Just scream quality. Um... Do I have one handy? I do. So, exactly what I want this for? Well, you know, I restore a lot of old tools. So we have this old uh, lobster wrench here. So, you got these, the pin screws. And what they do is you take a chisel or whatever and whack it. And the pieces of metal go around there. So what I can do with this, is take this and just clean up around. To get that off so I can get these pins out to properly clean these up. So, uh, yeah, I got that guy. <coughs> uh, this was a good deal. I think it was $8.99. <coughs> Main USA. 
So there's that guy. And then I picked up uh, this one bigger guy. Uh, hopefully at some point uh, this summer, we'll be doing some engine work, port and polish, etc. I thought this would be just perfect for that. This one's even sharper. It's, wow. Oh, this guy was a lot more. This thing was 29, but uh, well worth it. <coughs> so there we go. Got those guys. Uh, let's not keep everyone waiting. Let's get into the Knipex. Just, how does this package want to open? Well, this is normally the the German packaging is really easy to get into. Um, this is like American style, which I can see why with the shoplifting and the like is what it is. So here we are. These are the 8700100 SBA. These are the four inch Cobra XS. Look at these little guys. So cute. There we go, made in Germany. So I know Kinepex, they always stamp it. Beauties. I have the shop door open and hear people driving by. Gorgeous day out again. What a pair. And that opening. I mean, you're not going to have a lot of leverage, but I mean, these will grip, and I've seen some tests done. These are, these are stout little guys. They're, they're no joke. And these were on sale, got these for 35 bucks. They work kind of like the quick sets. Well, not kind of, they do. They won't open like that. When I open the handle, go down, can ratchet up. Once I'm there, I'm locked. Very, very cool. So there's those guys. Uh. Yeah, we'll go left to right here. Uh, picked me up some uh, Rapid Tap. Uh, this is my first actual, like, uh, cutting oil, cutting fluid. Uh, it's made in the USA. Good stuff. Uh, what's this bottle? It's the 16 ounce, just under 500 mils. Uh, this is 14 bucks. A uh, much better deal to buy this size than the smaller size. And this should last me a long, long time. <laughs> That'll be put, you're putting in the, uh, the oiler that we picked up not long ago. And we got some more sockets. Uh, here we have a gear wrench half drive deep 6.25 mil. Let's use the uh, Cobras here. Get out of there. Putting them to work already. <laughs> here we go. There's that guy. Fluted drive end. Fluted uh, socket end. I'm going to move Bjorn. There we go. So where's Bjorn gonna hang out? You good there, bud? There we go. He's just hanging out. Uh, and this is a good deal. It's uh, uh, under 13 bucks. Um, yeah, so there's that. I just realized I just threw everything off to the side, you guys. I don't really wanna see everything, right? There, it's a bit better. More color. <laughs> um, a couple more uh, impact sockets. Here we have a Proto a 7 8 uh, half drive, six point shallow. That's for going right back here. There's that guy. And right here we have a Proto 22 mil shallow, half inch six point. I gotta get the rest of the sticker off, but uh, that guy goes right there. <laughs> so look at that, guys 10 to 27 shallows and deeps. Fully complete. Uh, only thing I'm missing are my 26 shallow and deep. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. And a few more sockets. <clears throat> a uh, Proto uh, 19 half shallow chrome and a 18 half shallow chrome. <clears throat> and those go up on the other socket rail. I picked up a bit of hardware. Uh, for a few ideas I have, you can see the price on these. These are just some little shackles, and these are only uh, let me see on them. Shackle galvanized 516 made in China. 
have a load rating on them. <clears throat> I have no idea what that says on there. Um, anyway, these are two bucks, and uh, yeah, they're just nice small shackles. I have some uh, project ideas for these. Also, who doesn't love shackles? There's just so many things you can do with these. Hang things, pull things. Heck, you could use one of these for your keys if you wanted, right? Yeah, so there's those guys. Got two of them. And also picked up uh, two of these guys. I believe these are, well, these ones, just like the bungee straps, are Ericsson. These ones are made in China. These are 1,200 pound maximum. What this is, is a, this type of shackle, a mount down shackle, it gives you a tie down point, if you guys can see that. So, this uh, piece goes here, under and here, just like that, and it says right on it, 12,000 pounds. Yeah, and I believe these were 450 a piece. Yeah, not bad, and I have a use for those, those are I'm actually going to use them. Uh, drill through that uh, that thick uh, uh, what carpeting material uh, that they use in the trunk as a as a floor pad. Put these in there as anchor points so I can tie things down in the trunk of the car. Because <coughs> uh, usually carry a fair amount of uh, tools and just uh, equipment with me, and uh, well. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, here, look at these guys. This is the Norseman Drill and Tool Company, America's finest high speed steel cutting tools. This is a 13 piece, 1 16th to 1 quarter HD super premium black and gold set made in US of A. Look at this gorgeous index. Look at that, guys. So, as I think you know, recently picked up a quarter inch bit on its own, and that cost me about five bucks. Went in there, this set, I was gonna be buying a uh, 3 16 and 13 64 Needed those guys. And I realized that was gonna be almost $10. This whole set was 30 so I thought it was a deal. Um, each one of these bits, I think over three sixteenths to quarter inch or five bucks a piece. And then one sixteenth to eleven sixty fourths or three bucks a piece. So we do the math on that. Plus tax, uh, this was definitely the better buy. So quite happy with that guy. And also, <clears throat> some of the drills in this set I do have quite a few of. But uh, this gives me a set I can keep these guys right together and pull these out when I know I need to do a nice clean job. I need a good cut. Can't risk, uh, you know, breaking a drill or just having a shoddy job, etc. I also picked me up a fairly high-end uh, flap disc. This is a Walter, made in Germany. Uh, this is a 60 grit, 5 inch. <clears throat> Uh, you can trim this one back. This isn't their highest end disc. They sell the ones that are enduro. Uh, I thought I'd give these a try because there's a lot of flap discs out there and a lot of them are just real crap. Uh, this seems really nicely done though. They didn't skimp on the adhesive like that. Uh, it's about eight bucks. Uh, their higher end wheels are about 20. So we'll see how this one goes and if I'm well impressed we'll try the other ones and yeah we'll go from there. But yeah guys that about wraps it up. <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, opinions, etc., 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 let me know. And yeah, with that said, catch you next time. Take it easy.